Hey, I want to share a quick testimony about hell. I don't preach on hell too often, and the, the Lord is speaking to me regarding this because the majority of pastors and churches do not speak on hell, and the Lord is really c convicting me when it comes to hell. I was officiating a Bible study one time for a group of veterans in a veteran's home, and the most talkative and enthusiastic veteran shared with me a testimony of seeing heaven and seeing hell. He was in the Korean War and he was in the war zone. At that time he was not a believer in God. He was an atheist and he was there fighting in the Korean War and there was a grenade, an explosion of some kind went off and he fell to the ground. And when that happened he felt his spirit leave his body and he began to float higher and higher over his body. He would look down and see his body on the ground. And this astounded him because he, he did not believe in a spirit or a spirit world. Didn't believe in God or the devil or heaven or hell or, or anything beyond the five senses. He was an atheist. And as he began to float up higher and higher and higher, he began to realize that he was floating towards this dark realm, a realm of complete darkness. In fact, the Bible has shows Jesus referring to the outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Well, he was moving towards this thick, heavy, outer darkness. And for him, there was weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, yeah... And as he began to move towards this, this thick darkness, he began to feel this real heavy despair come upon him. And as he began to float more and more towards this oppressive, heavy darkness of, of despair and agony, he heard a voice in his mind say, Pray to Jesus. And he was thinking, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. But as he was floating more and more into this thick, painful darkness of despair, that voice kept saying, cry out to the Lord. Pray to Jesus. So he did in his own way. He asked God to save him. And when that happened, suddenly all of that darkness was gone. <laughs> gone. Just whisked away and suddenly he began to experience a heavenly vision then he began to float towards this wonderful pure amazing light and he felt peace and he felt unconditional love and joy in this wonderful piercing amazing light and then after a few moments he was told you know in many of the stories people are told you have to go back it's not your time yet. And he did not want to leave. He wanted to stay in this heavenly, peaceful, amazing realm. But he was told it wasn't his time, that he had to go back. So he came back into his body. And he was probably, when I met him, in his 80s. But he had been a Christian after that experience for many years. He had repentance. So heaven is for real. You know, the, the book uh, by uh, the Burpo family, Heaven is for Real, that's true. But also, hell is real. And it is a place not designed for human souls. But anybody who rejects God is rejecting heaven. So, cry out to God today. Don't wait for a near-death experience or an out-of-body experience to bring you there. The, the darkness is unimaginably painful and full of despair, no joy, no hope, no love. Cry out to God. He is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. It's all true. Thank you. God bless.